against New Jersey. Trailblazers beat the Nets 86-68 and got off to a 13-0 start in that game. And this is the same team that we had talked about earlier in the trip getting blown out in first quarters. What was the difference? Uh, th can you say it was all the quicker starting lineup with LaMarcus Aldridge? I think that had a lot to do with it. I think the fact that uh, the Blazers were blown out the night before. Nate McMillan is a great bounce back coach. Uh, the Nets had beaten the Pacers the night before and they thought they were just going to come in and throw their shoes out and win the ball game. And the Blazers uh, showed them that, you know, we're not going to. Ooh, that was a quick jump. Blazer ball anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tim Duncan tried to quick tip Blazer it. Ball. And Blazers will have it. Well, and that was a back to back for both teams, the New Jersey game. This is a back to back for San Antonio, the second game of a back to back, and they are not traditionally a good team on the second night of back to backs. Last week was an example. They beat Houston in Houston one night. The next night got beat by Charlotte at home in overtime. Yeah, at home. They have not lost a game on the road. The only team in the NBA not having to lose a game on the road this year. Zach Randolph right into Duncan, laid it up and in. So Randolph off to a good start. Zach coming off 20 points, 16 rebounds at New Jersey. And uh, the best part about that is it was such a balanced attack early in the game. Either team will double team early in this game. Manu Ginobili with the left handed runner. Ginobili's been struggling with the outside shot, shooting just 37%. But if he can get that close to the rim, that will be sure to rise. They run the pick and roll with a lot of different players, just not Tony Parker. Aldridge pulls Duncan away from the hoop, and Marcus Aldridge shooting 70%. That's yeah. number one among rookies, and there's your X already yeah, showing what he can do is stretch that defense number two in rebounding number three in rookie scoring so he's up on the stat sheet in every category for rookies Parker gets the pick from Alberto misses the outside shot and nice to see Martel Webster aggressively grab the defensive board yeah he's got to learn to handle that ball a little bit take pressure off the point guard some night so they're putting Alberto on Zach early in this game Randolph doubled finds Aldridge shot clock at 10 still plenty of time oh, excuse me, Udoka for three and it's a little bit short and the rebound to Duncan and they are double teaming early so that's the respect they have for Zach Randolph there's Ginobili and I mentioned he has been struggling Ginobili last night in Sacramento just four for 12 and off the mark there Trailblazers by two just underway here at the Rose Garden tonight Jarrett Jack turns the corner over Duncan hits yeah you mentioned Ginobili 37 percent shooting they can't find a third score like they had in years previous Ginobili was their man Duncan baseline Jarrett Jack played the good defense Parker got it back and got the roll. See that's when Yudoka and Martel Webster have to step in and help out on the rebounds because Aldridge will have his work cut out for him going against Duncan. Salazano Berzo inside. Well we talked about Jarrett Jack a moment ago Jarrett had the great ball game against Jason Kidd on Saturday 12 points 8 assists no turnovers. We got into New Jersey after the Boston game, and the team was upset. Jarrett rode up on the elevator with him in the hotel, and he was very upset. And after he got to his room, called Coach Nate McMillan. Coach said, come on up to my room, and they watched videotape for the next three hours, watched the entire first three quarters of the Boston game. And Jarrett said, we must have watched for three hours. We were around every play, and he said he left that meeting with a much better idea of what Nate McMillan wants and what he expects and then Jarrett comes out and has a terrific game against New Jersey. Yeah I talked to Nate McMillan about that and he said I've never had a player that did that. Martel Webster grabbed that loose ball nicely but then threw it away. Parker going to go by Jack blocked by Udoka ball loose and scooped up by Jarrett. Probably just showing some hustle early. Aldridge on the break over Duncan. And Duncan knew the young guy. He watched him at Texas and he backed out of the way. I don't blame, blame Tim Duncan, who's, uh, you mentioned back to backs. He's the guy that's never.